battery of laser source and optical power meter. This is F2H series handheld laser source, which is usually used in optical network testing project. It can give a stable laser source to the optical fiber, which is under test. This is F2H series handheld power meter, which can provide a high precision optical power measurement function to test an optical network line accurately. It is always used with a stable laser source. By observing the value of optical power, the power meter receiving, the environment of the optical network is clearly shown to users. Induction of panel in the button function, laser source. Top panel. The output port is on the top panel of the meter. Originally, it is an FC PC adapter. User can screw it off and resemble a SC PC or ST PC adapter, offered as an accessory. Display area. Here is the display area of the meter. There are several parameters shown on it. The upper left area shows the optical wavelength. The upper right area shows the battery life. The middle area shows the output power. The down left area shows the modulation information of the output laser. The down right area shows the auto power off function. Bottom panel. The LED light at the bottom panel is a charging induction. Besides, the charging induction is a power interface. Back panel. The battery storehouse is in the back panel. To open cover, the fixing screw should be screwed off. Button function. This is the output wavelength adjustment button. This is output power up adjustment button, 0 0.1 dB per step. The twin function is for auto-recognizing the output wavelength. To boot this function up, user must use it with F2H series handheld power meter. This button is a wave modulation button. This is output power down adjustment button. This is a screen backlight button. This is the boot button. Press it over 2 seconds. The 10 minutes auto power off function would be off. Induction of panel in the button function. Optical power meter. Top panel. The input port is on the top panel of the meter. Originally, it is a FC PC adapter. User can screw it off and resemble a SC PC or ST PC adapter offered as an accessory. Button panel. This is a mini USB interface to communicate to a PC. The LED light at the middle of the button panel is a charging inductor. Besides, the charging inductor is a power interface. Back panel. The battery storehouse is in the back panel. To open cover, the fixing screw should be screwed off. Display area. Here is the display area of the meter. There are several parameters shown on it. The upper left area shows the preset receiving wavelength. The wavelength of the laser launched by a laser source should be the same. The upper right area shows the battery life. The middle area shows the input power. The down right area shows the auto power off function. Button function. This is the boot button. Press over 2 seconds. The 10 minutes power auto off function would be off. This is the input wavelength adjustment button. Press over 2 seconds to boot the twin function. The same function on F2H series laser source should also be booted on. Under the result loading interface, 
This button can also be used as the last result button. This button is the unit switch button. Under the result loading interface, this button can also be used as the delete button. This button is the result loading button. Press over 2 seconds. The current detected value will be saved. This is the reference setting button. Press over 2 seconds. Current power value will be set as 0. Under the result loading interface, this button can also be used as the next result button. This is the backlight switching button. Application To improve the accuracy of a testing, we need optical laser saws, optical power meter, two calibration fibers, and two adapters. Before starting the test, both optical power meter and laser saws should be preheated for about 15 minutes to improve the stability and the performance of the meter. If user ignores the preheating, the tolerance would be much bigger. To avoid the tolerance caused by insertion loss, we should use two calibration fibers as launching fiber. First, insert two calibration fibers to optical power in the laser saws. Connect two calibration fibers with a fiber adapter. Adjusting the wavelength of both meters, keep them at the same wavelength. Observing the value on optical power meter until the value fixed, press the REF button over 2 seconds. The value would turn to zero. This shows that the current value has been set as reference mark. Disconnect the two fibers and insert the under test cable between the two calibration fibers. Connect them with two fiber adapters. The value shown on the power meter screen is the actual loss of the fiber. Press LOAD load button over 2 seconds to save the tested value. The save number would shown at the bottom of the screen. Press the LOAD load button to check the saved results. In the result loading interface, press LAMDA or IEF button to view the last or next value.